Vic Fangio was reportedly the Miami Dolphins' defensive coordinator, until he wasn't. Over the weekend, NFL Network's Tom Pelissero reported that Fangio and the Dolphins had agreed to a deal to make him the highest-paid coordinator in the NFL. However, reports then soon came out that Fangio told reporters, including Michael Silver of the San Francisco Chronicle, that he had not yet made a decision. Sources in Mobile Tell Pro Football Network insider Tony Pauline that they are confident Fangio will become the new defensive coordinator for the Dolphins sooner rather than later. San Francisco is an option, but everything being talked about at the Senior Bowl points to Fangio signing with the Dolphins soon. Further, sources tell PFN that the Dolphins' offer appears to be Fangio's best one thus far. If everything comes together as expected, Pelissero reports that it's expected to be a three year agreement with a fourth year team option. If the Dolphins land Fangio, it would bolster a defense in need of some help, and their new defensive coordinator would be able to do so quickly. His 6 to 1 tilt scheme will fit nicely with the Dolphins' current personnel, especially with Bradley Chubb, for whom Miami traded at the deadline and then extended with a blockbuster contract, and rising star Jalon Phillips as edge defenders. Chubb had 7.5 sacks and 19 quarterback hits in 14 games playing for Fangio in 2020. He might get double that in 2023, playing alongside Phillips, Christian Wilkins, Emmanuel Ogba, and Zach Sealer. Dolphins cornerback Xavier Howard, who had a disappointing year in 2022, should also benefit from Fangio coming to the Dolphins. Fangio prefers zone to man, and is usually able to commit extra defensive backs to coverage because he's able to generate pressure with his front seven, that will be helpful for Howard who was asked to play man coverage with little help for the majority of snaps he was on the field in 2022. It will also be helpful for the Dolphins' secondary as a whole, one that has seen far too many injuries. It's worth wondering what would have happened this season if the Dolphins had someone like Fangio leading their defense instead of Josh Boyer, who was retained by McDaniel in his first year on the job. It's possible that the Dolphins would have been playing on championship weekend rather than an early exit in the Super Wild Card round. While some may now perceive Fangio lacks conviction about his next role, sources indicate that this unnecessarily prolonged saga will likely come to its conclusion soon with Fangio teaming with McDaniel in Miami.